Alright guys, so I literally just ran out of my house. I'm in the elevator now, heading to my car. Um, I don't know what's going on with my suitcase, but it, it is making the craziest noise and I'm so over it. This Porsche truck next to me always parks so damn close. I'm like, why do you have to park so close? If I had a Porsche truck, I would not be parking so close to me. <laughs> All right, so it's about 8.22 p.m. Please forgive me, I'm out of breath. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna head straight to the airport right now. I do need gas, so I'll probably stop and get gas closer to the airport so I can know how my timing's looking. I need some AC, it's hot. Anyways guys, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put the camera away, drive safe, and I will see you guys at the airport. Bye. All right guys, I made it to the airport. I'm gonna go ahead, hurry up, get my bags out. Um, I have to stop by Wawa to get some more snacks. Um, a rain energy drink and some gas. So it is approximately 9.22 right now. Um, my report I think is at 10 o'clock or 10.10. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my way to the employee shuttle um, and through the airport. All right, beautiful people guys. So I am coming a little bit delayed. Um, my first two flights was from Orlando to San Juan and San Juan back here to Orlando. Um, and now I am getting ready to go to Newark. So it's been such a long morning. It's about 6.54 right now. Because I thought it was very sweet. Someone brought me snacks. I got my little chocolate muffin and the little cheese tray here. I'm gonna eat this for breakfast because I'm starving. Um, but also guys, we are on a Airbus 320 today. So there's 186 seats on this big old plane. Um, and we only have 123 passengers. So that's excellent. Um, like I said before, we have the last three rows that are open. Uh, we're just waiting on one more flight attendant. I'm done checking all of my emergency equipment. I am actually working the D position. So I'm gonna be in the back in the small, small galley, <laughs> unfortunately. But um, yes, I'm still awake. I'm still feeling okay. I'm just really ready to hit the bed, shower, relax. Um, I have a 17 and a half hour layover in Newark, New Jersey. And for those of you that do not know, I am from Plainfield, New Jersey, so I'm not too far um, from the airport. But my mom is talking about she wants to come pick me up and do lunch or something. So, anywho, um, I'm gonna go ahead, charge my phone a little bit, charge my camera, probably eat some of this um, cheese and crackers, and I will come back to you guys when we land in Newark, New Jersey. Bye! Hello, hello, beautiful people. All right guys, so I am just getting to the hotel here in Newark, New Jersey. Your girl is tired. <laughs> I think you guys already knew that I am exhausted. Um, so we actually just started having Newark, New Jersey layovers. Um, so this is gonna be my first time at this particular hotel on this layover here in Newark. Usually we'll go to Triton. Um, but yeah, for this particular trip, my five days, I will be in the same exact hotel, which is beautiful. I absolutely love it. So when you come in, let's turn some lights on. We have a little kitchenette area here where we have a microwave and a fridge in the sink and then me. <laughs> um, a little working desk here. Then to the left hand side, we have a bathroom. We have, oh, this is really good size. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Look at the showers. This is like a little studio apartment. This is actually bigger than some people's apartment. Anyways, um, this is a door 
that leads into the bedroom. So we have the little two doors that leads into the bedroom, which is totally fine, but very, very nice bedroom. I was told by another crew member that the beds are super soft, very comfortable. We have a closet here. I'm gonna check for the crazies, make sure there's nobody hiding in the closet. So we go into the little living room area. So this is super, super cute. I like it. There's a TV here, then another TV on the other side. But this is just my view. Just other hotels, basically. So, um, anyways, guys, super cute. I'm very, very impressed. I love that we have the fridge and the microwave um, because as you seen earlier, I went ahead and meal prepped. So I'm gonna go ahead, put my food in the fridge, probably heat up a little bit just to get something in my system. Um, Cause I haven't really eaten yet, but yes guys, I am ready to just get out of this uniform. I've been praying for this hour and it's finally here. Um, it's not too cold outside. The room is perfect temperature. So, um, yes, I'm going to eat, shower, and hit the bed. So, um, yeah, I'll come to you guys a little bit later. Right now, it's 11.32. So, um, I don't know what time I'm going to wait back up because my report time in the morning is at 4 a.m. Yes. I leave at 4 a.m. guys um, so yeah I'll come to you guys a little bit later once I get rejuvenated get some food and energy all you know energy levels back to normal uh, so yes see you <laughs> I literally just woke up I've been in and out of sleep I was in the room searching for a hotel for Japan and I got a little hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my wings and a vegetable pasta. I know I probably won't finish it all because this is a lot of food for me personally. My food's like all the way down here. So I went ahead and heated up my food. Let's get some light. I got my jerk chicken and my penne pasta. Um, and since I am going to Tokyo very soon, I am scrolling through trying to look for the perfect hotel. Because like I said before, I've been in um, Japan, but I am taking Eric who is now my boyfriend. I'm taking him for his birthday, so I'm just going through looking for different hotels to stay in, but I am so excited to finally eat this food. It looks really, really good. Let me go ahead and indulge in my chicken. I am going to catch you later. Good morning, beautiful people. It is a crazy hour of the morning. It is 3.39 a.m. I am awake. I'm literally getting ready for work. I'm getting ready to head out in just a few moments. Oh, my shuttle comes at 4 a.m. So in approximately 20 minutes. So I am pretty much packed. Um, I just have to throw on my scarf, my sweater, and my jacket, and your girl is ready to go. I should probably put these cookies aside because I think I'm gonna want these. Um, but anywho guys, I could not, could not sleep last night. I don't know what exactly was going on, but your girl could not sleep. All I have to do is throw my scarf on and then I should be ready to go. I'm just listening to my little gospel music right now trying to get myself mentally prepared for the day. Um, we only have two flights. We are going to West Palm Beach and right here back to North. Um, so I will literally be going there. Oh, Eric's calling me. 
my boo boo is calling me. <laughs> I'm surprised he's up this early. But anyways, um, I'll be going there and coming right back here. And um, yes, my mom is gonna pick me up today. I land at noon, so she'll probably come and pick me up around two o'clock with my sister. Um, so we can go out head for like lunch or something. Y'all, my hair is looking a hot mess on this trip. So I may have to go to beauty supply store to kind of fix it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, guys, so hopefully I can get through today. I do have my rain energy drink, but I don't know if I could not go to sleep. And I don't know if it's because my sleeping schedule was already messed up due to me having that red eye. Um, and the regular, the rest of the crew, they just only had one flight yesterday where it was my third flight. So I'm going to head downstairs because I do not want to be that crew member that comes downstairs late. Um, late and still looking sleepy. So I'm going to be right back at this hotel um, at noon. So I will see you guys a little bit later. Bye. Hello, beautiful people, guys. <sighs> I am just getting into my hotel. Um, as you can see, I am not wearing my uniform. Um, it is about 7.40 p.m. Um, we landed earlier today around noon, I believe, but as soon as we landed, my mom and my dad came to pick me up so we can go ahead and have like a dinner, lunch type thing. Um, so they went ahead and picked me up, but I was rushing so bad. I totally forgot my camera inside the room So I am just getting back to the hotel and I have a little story so When we were getting picked up by a shuttle earlier our driver made the mistake of putting all of our luggage inside the shuttle closing the back doors and the shuttle completely locked. The shuttle was running, his keys were still inside the car and all the doors were freaking locked, guys. So we had to sit outside for an extra 30, 40 minutes in cold weather um, while the hotel brought the spare key. So unfortunately, you know, we were not too happy about that. Hey, it happens, but don't let it happen again. But in return, they told us that we can have a um, free appetizer and a free entree. So of course, here at this little bougie hotel, I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of a meal as if I was on a date. You know, I'm gonna just get everything I want. So <laughs> I went ahead and got me um, for my appetizer. I just got mozzarella sticks, and for my entree, I got a 12 ounce ribeye steak with mashed potatoes and some vegetables so yes guys i um i'm so full from dinner when my parents took me and i actually have leftovers from that and i couldn't turn down a free meal on the hotel so um i got it to go i ate a little bit of the um mozzarella sticks downstairs but oh let's just look at this steak this steak looks so bomb. These are just like my little leftover things, but I got my vegetables, my mashed potatoes, and this steak smells absolutely amazing. I have not picked at it yet, but anyways, guys, um, I don't even, I'll probably just eat like a little bite of it, but um, I am about to relax. I'm tired. I just took Advil PM. The same exact day I had today, which was Newark to West Palm Beach and West Palm Beach back to Newark. I had that same exact day tomorrow, unfortunately. So I need to get my rest um, because our shuttle comes at 4 a.m. and we're down around noon. But tomorrow I actually have a very long layover. I have 24 hours here in Newark. So from noon and 24 hours later, um, I will be here in Newark. So there's a big, nice mall across the street. One of the malls I actually grew up going to. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead to the mall and try to see if I can catch 
some good deals. But anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbering. Um, I'm in the same hotel, obviously, as yesterday. The only thing that's different is the bathroom. Yesterday, I had a, a tub, which as this time, I have a shower. So I just have a stand-up shower. I already took a shower earlier when I got off work. Super cute bathroom, same living room and everything. And this time I have one bed instead of two. So one big old bed, whereas you seen yesterday I had two beds, so. Today is day five, it's go home day and I'm so excited. Um, because this has definitely been a very long trip for me. This is a five day trip. You guys know I do not work five day trips, but it was worth a lot of money, so. Morning. Yes, it is cold outside, but it is so beautiful. All right guys, so I'm just getting back upstairs. I really should have grabbed some fruit, but it is what it is. The guy was nice enough to wrap this with a uh, plastic. So I got me some breakfast potatoes, some bacon, some sausage, and a good old omelet. I probably won't even eat all this at all, huh? My breakfast almost sounds amazing. It's actually made to order, which I love. But yeah, so this is my little breakfast here. As you can see, I just threw this stuff on the side, but for some reason the breakfast potatoes aren't like, they don't look seasoned, but they uh, taste really good. And I just got me some pineapple and cranberry juice. Hello beautiful people. Guys, I just want to go ahead and close out this vlog. I made it back home, obviously, um, after that super long five day trip. I just want to go ahead and say thank you so much for tuning into another Flight Attendant Chronicles. I really, really do appreciate all your love and all your support. And for those of you that love to message me on uh, Instagram if you have any flight attendant questions, I love, love, love answering your questions guys so be sure to comment like and subscribe on this video go ahead and tune into um, my other flight attendant chronicles that way you can really get an insight about my lifestyle guys if you have not please be sure to follow me on all social media platforms i would say i'm mostly um now active on instagram youtube um sometimes facebook so definitely please feel free to message me on those and i will see you guys in the next vlog Mwah. bye